So the movement of your ha- your hand, like every time you move your arm, it's winding the watch. Yeah. So as you move. Oh, around, really? Yes. Yes. Like a Rolex. Wow. Yes. If you have a, like an automatic watch, like a Rolex yeah. Submariner, you don't wind it. You move it around. <laughs> and as you move it around, that's, that's so cool. what causes it to have the power to keep going. So as you're wearing it throughout the day, yeah. and then there's some that you do wind, some yeah. that you wind. But I just had a morbid thought that you could tell how long someone was dead for by like how many seconds off the watch is because it wasn't wound up anymore. By sort me. of, but you'd only tell within, you know, 12 hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. That's yeah. funny, though. It is funny. Yeah. yeah. Because, you, well, you'd have to find out. Yeah, yeah, Like, what kind of a movement it is. Is this a 48-hour movement or a 72-hour right. movement? Yeah. How long does it last for? Yeah. 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 That's incredible Was the watch broken though. already? Yeah. yeah. Time a Rolex watch helps solve a murder mystery. Whoa. Oh, okay, there you go. See? I wasn't totally look off. Look at that. Wow. Is that how it solved it? I don't know. I just made that up. Interesting. Cool. <laughs> what makes sense... So that's the Oyster Perpetual, right? That's mm-hmm. that's one of those watches that also has an yeah. automatic movement. I just love the idea of recovering information and like figuring mm-hmm. out puzzles. All right, the Rolex is known to be 48 hours the power reserve. Police were able to determine the date of death within a reasonable margin of error by subtracting the watch's power reserve from the date that was displayed on the watch when it was found. Yep. According to his Rolex watch, Ronald Platt was murdered on July 20th, 1996. But the problem with that is a lot of people don't set their date correctly, yeah. so that wouldn't hold up in court. No. It seems like, like, how do you know the guy was accurate with his date? Oh, how sure. do you know? How do you know he did had if he had division? Like, you can't even see. I can't read that unless I have good lighting. <laughs> yeah, I can't read that. You know, is so like, how do you set to the right date or no? Mine probably isn't. Hold on a second. Let me tell you right now. It'd be funny if it's not. Oh, this one doesn't even have a date. Durr. Oh, there you go. That's Durr. not going to hold up in court. Durr. This one doesn't <laughs> have a date. You're safe. Um, but some, why did I think it does? That's funny. Uh, <laughs> but some of them do. And uh, that's a different, um, uh, there's like a different mechanism inside of there. It's called, compli- they call them complications. But these different ones, like they'll have one, I have one that I gave to Lex um, that's uh, an Omega. And it, it has a moon on it. And so it has a moon faced thing where there's a high resolution photograph of yeah. the moon and as the moon rises and moves through the sky it becomes a full moon and a half moon a quarter moon oh, it so shows cool. it on yeah. the watch so and so it's accurate so you have to go to a website you find out what the moon phase is you set the moon phase for where the watch is and then you set the time and the date in the watch and then it stays in sync love it it's crazy that's so amazing yeah, it's yeah. Re- the omega is really cool because it's a little image but it's a high resolution image of the moon yeah and can you see if you can find one of those it's a uh, omega speedmaster um moon watch and so this little moon sort of moves through this little night sky window yeah. in the bottom of the watch i love the phases of the moon yeah that's not it <laughs> find the, the one with the moon on it jamie Say, uh, no, no, that's the no, no, no. Moon watch is the watch they wore during the moon landings. Moon phase is what you're looking for. Yeah, so that one's different. That's it right there. Click on the one where you just had your cursor. So that oh, see the image of yeah. the moon in the bottom. Got it. And that dope. So it even has like a bunch of little stars back. And that's there. all run by Gears too. Yeah. So cool. It's so cool. And then the one on the above it, that's the calendar. The window yeah. to the u- upper left of it, that's its calendar. It's and that's amazing sort of... that they can sync all those different sort of scales of time within one device with just a bunch of gears. And incredibly accurate too. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. That's that's my favorite watch. I love, I love that it. thing. That's great. So cool. It's a great gift. Yeah, but it's just an amazing piece of human ingenuity mm-hmm. that they've, someone's figured out how to do that. Yeah. And again, that's fully mechanical. That's yeah. just you move your hand around right. and it does all the winding. Yeah. And it keeps it accurate. Yeah. It's nuts. It is nuts. And that's our simple little simian human brains. Human brains. I know. It's amazing.